Hello, Rob Friedline here. In this PhotoBoo 7 tutorial, I'm going to guide you through creating a custom background photo strip layout. To begin, you'll need to create, purchase, or otherwise acquire a background to use for your layout. For our tutorial, I have a background image that I've named Tutorial Background. If we open that up, we'll see that it's a 4x6 layout, horizontal, with three photos in the 4-3 aspect ratio. So to begin creating our layout, open up Photo Booth, go to File, Preferences, and the far left tab is the Layout tab. From here we want to choose a stock layout in Photo Booth that resembles what we're trying to accomplish. In this case, a 4x6 horizontal layout. The single pick layout in Photo Booth is exactly what it sounds like. It's a single 4x6 photo. If you hit the test button, it'll open up that layout uh, and sh show you what it looks like. There we go. We have a nice mug shot of myself there. But we can see it's just a 4x6 horizontal photo. This is going to work perfect for what we want to do. So go to the Edit button. And the first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate this layout. So click the Duplicate button and it'll ask you what you want to call your new layout. Uh, usually I'll name it uh, after the bride and groom or something to help me keep track of it. For our tutorial today we're just going to call it Tutorial 4x6. And this way when we're making changes to the layout we're making changes to the copy that we've made of the layout rather than the original so we'll always have the original to go back to. You can see that we're already on the picture placement tab. Uh, that was just a single 4x6 so it had one picture in it. We're going to be using three. Camera orientation is still horizontal and we need to change from 3-2 aspect ratio to 4-3. For right now, we're not going to worry a whole lot of, on the sizing, uh, but to get ready here, we'll uh, go ahead and change these just a bit to get a little bit closer to where these photos need to be. We'll talk a little bit more about placement and sizing uh, as we continue with our layout. So from there, we'll go to the General tab. And you'll see we're creating a 4x6 layout. Background color for us doesn't matter because we're going to replace the background with a background image. So for background image, go to Browse and just navigate to wherever you have your background stored. I have mine right on the desktop. Tutorial background. It can be in PNG or JPEG format. Either one will work. And there we go. So now we have a background uh, set up in photo booth for our 4x6 layout. Now to take a look at what that looks like, hit the preview button up at the top and you'll see this one is not going to come out right. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Here what we have is our background image is far too large for our 4x6 photo. So now I'll show you how we fix. So now I'll show you how to change the size of our background image to match our layout. Uh, so go ahead and we can just hit uh, OK, OK, and you're going to want to go ahead and close Photo Booth. So go ahead and just completely close it out. There we go. And what you want to do is open up your background image in whatever photo editor you prefer. Uh, of course, Photoshop is the most popular, so I'll use Photoshop Elements here. Uh, but any photo editor is going to do exactly what you need it to. Uh, and all we're looking to do is resize our image. And we can see here that it's in 10 by 6 instead of 4 by 6. So all we need to do is change that width to 6, and all the other settings are going to adjust automatically for us, uh, at least in Photoshop. Then we're going to go ahead and save it in its new size. And I'll save it as a JPEG, just to because uh, I like JPEGs. Uh, but you could save that in a PNG as well if you'd prefer. So now go ahead and open up Photo Booth again. There we go. 
and go back into preferences and layout and we should see our tutorial 4x6 layout in the list now. Uh, and that's the reason we had to restart PhotoBooth, is if we uh, would have come back to this, uh, it's not going to show that layout until we restart PhotoBooth. So there we go. We'll go to Edit. And now we're going to browse for the new background imagery we created, our tutorial background JPEG open that up and now if you hit preview you'll see that our photos are all still in the wrong place but the uh, the background itself is the correct size for our layout so now that our background is the correct size we need to go ahead and make the other adjustments we need to place the pictures so go to the picture placement tab and once you get used to it, this goes real easy. Uh, until you get used to it, it's going to be a very time-consuming process of basically just slightly changing these adjustments until you get the pictures where you want them to be. Uh, so a little, what I'll usually do is, of course, you want to start with one photo. So we want to narrow that one out because once you get the first photo, the rest of them are going to be a lot easier. So we'll put these on zero. Uh, the width, if you want all your pictures to be the same size, you only have to adjust the width setting on the first photo. The rest of them will follow suit. Uh, with the left and top settings, all of those need to be entered in. And as always, you're going to want to hit the preview button just to see where you are. There we go. So you can see we have all of our photos up in the top left corner. So now we're going to start bringing one picture uh, down and put it into position. Uh, so the left setting is how far away from the left edge that first picture is going to be. Now for the interest of time, I already went through and I know what I want these settings to be. But I'll show you here. So for the first picture, I know I want our left setting to be 71. So it's going to be 71 units of measure from the left border. I don't exactly know what those units of measure are. Uh, somebody else may know that one. And I know I want it to be 775 from the top. And uh, I also know that we want this picture to be 483 wide. And hit the preview button again. You'll see that first picture then drop down exactly where we want it to be. And since we have all three of our photos in a nice row across the bottom, we know that we want all three photos to be 775 from the top, so we can fill those in. As far as the size, uh, again, the other two photos are also 483, even though we didn't specify those. Uh, the only time you need to change any photo width other than the first photo is when you have different size photos in a layout. And again, just for uh, ease for the tutorial, I already know that we want the left setting for picture 2 to be 654, and the left setting for picture 3 to be 1240. So we'll hit preview again. And there we go. We have three photos in 4-3 aspect ratio placed perfectly on our layout. So we want to hit Apply. OK. And now we have our layout stored as Tutorial 4x6 Layout. Uh, since this one's a uh, layout for a bridal show, you could probably name that one Bridal Show 4x6, something like that. And you can leave that right in PhotoBooth. So for the last step in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transport your layout from uh, maybe your laptop, your home computer, to your photo booth. I personally uh, do all of my design work and layout creation uh, on my laptop in the house. I leave the photo booth out in the trailer unless it needs maintenance or cleaning or something like that. So it's just no fun dragging it into the house before every event to do all the programming. Uh, plus I have the touchscreen model uh, and sure I could plug in a keyboard and a mouse and everything but I'm just not that good on the touchscreen to be able to do all of this. 
So it's real easy to do. So we'll go ahead and hit OK and minimize Photo Booth. So as long as you installed Photo Booth in its default location, you're going to want to go to My Computer, C, Photo Booth 7, Layouts. This is where all the layouts for Photo Booth are stored, along with the text files that make them work. So we're working on our tutorial layout. So we're going to take the tutorial 4x6.txt file. We're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it to a thumb drive, external hard drive, whatever it is you're going to use to transport your files to your photo booth. And while we're at it, we also want to make sure to copy and paste our background image as well because we're going to need that, of course, for the layout to work. Now we're going to assume that we're at the event, we have the photo booth all set up and ready to go, and we're going to import our layout into the photo booth from our flash drive. So to start, you want to go ahead and open up your flash drive. Then you're going to want to, just like we did on your computer at home, go to My Computer, C, Photo Booth 7, Layouts. And you're just going to take both of those files, copy them, and then paste them into the Layouts folder. Once you do that, you can go ahead and close out both of those windows and open up Photo Booth. Once we have Photo Booth open, you're going to go to File, Preferences. You're going to open up the tutorial 4x6 layout, and you're going to have to hit Edit. The reason we have to hit Edit is in that text file, uh, if you remember, we originally had our background stored on the desktop. Uh, so even if we put it on the desktop of the photo booth, it's still going to be different unless you have your computers named exactly the same. Uh, so you're just going to go down to the background image. You're going to browse. And it, photo booth is all automatically going to open up that layouts folder. That's why it's easiest just to put that background image right into the layouts folder with the text file. So we're just going to look for our tutorial background right here open and then of course we always want to do a preview just to make sure everything is still working right and there we go we have our layout with our three photos placed exactly where we want them uh, and we were able to do that in a matter of 30 seconds at the event rather than dragging the photo booth all the way into your house or your office uh, to do that programming and there you have it you're up and running and ready for your event